Good morning, everybody. I'm going to bring some more book recommendations to you. And um, these are new titles that we just got in, so I haven't read them yet, but I thought you guys might like them. So um, here's the first one. It's going to be a mixture of uh, kids, teens, and adult books, so just so you know. So the first one I've got is, it's a children's book. And it's uh, Warriors by Erin Hunter. Now, she's very popular amongst our kids. Because um, um, we, we always get asked about the cat books or the dog books. She does a lot of stuff that involves animals, like fantasy stuff. Um, this is book 12 in her Warriors ser series. And that uh, looks pretty cool. Um, you can request that through um, and pick it up through curbside so and then the next book I will show you is called The Whispers by Greg Howard so that's pretty cool um what is this about this is a new title so 11 year old Riley knows a thing or two about wishes ever since he his mom disappeared all he's been doing is wishing wishing for her return wishing he'd stop wetting the bed, and wishing his dad would love him again. With the police investigation stalled, Riley is desperate for answers and worried his mother might soon be out of time. So he turns to the Whispers, a mythical wood creatures who will grant your heart's desires if you bring them tribute. It's a story his mother used to tell him every night. He never really believed they were real until one day when he hears them call to him telling him his mother is near. So it looks like a, a cute little fantasy book about, you know, um, about a young boy searching for his mom. So um, that should be really fun. It, um, it is a JF, so for probably kids, well, same age as um, the Warrior series, if your kids, said, so that might be cool for them to read too. And then, okay. Um, we've got book eight of the Dogman series. Um, this is a comic or graphic novel um, series that I know a lot of our, our kids that come in really love Dogman um, by Dave Pilkey. I think he also did um, Big Nate, I believe he did that. So it's like re usually really funny and uh, just all, all sorts of sorts of funny shenanigans that that um his characters get into but i know that the the kids love them uh love these so we've got a new one of those okay and now we're getting into some teen books well actually i only have one teen book um this time the rest are adults um this one is called um the queen's assassin by melissa de la cruz she's a popular author in our in our teen section so this, uh, and she usually does fantasy. Um, looks like, yeah, you've got kingdoms and um, knights and assassins, you know, very, um, so the back of it says, I, Cordon Holt, God, guardian of Renovia, they always make up these funny names, <laughs> Devote servant to the house of devoted servant of the house of Delafour, hereby pledge my life and that of my heirs to this promise: defend the crown and restore the sacred scrolls of Dea to their rightful purpose. So, um, so that's interesting. So it's a yeah. So usually, De La, uh, Melissa De La Cruz has a female protagonist, so that's pretty cool. So, but it looks like it it's like a a fantasy that um, people who like her other books or maybe even the Twilight series or um, any kind of fantasy really I, th I think they'll enjoy that I know I, I usually do so this actually sounds a little bit interesting for me but I'm not supposed to read teen books <laughs> am I because I'm not a teen anymore no no you can read teen books it doesn't matter okay so here are some adult sorry the camera's shaking a little bit um, so this new one we got is called Song of the Risen God by R.A. Salvatore, 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 yeah, 
Um, now this is a part of a series, yeah. Um, book three in the Tale of the Coven series. Um, so I know he does like high fantasy stuff. So if you're not into like teen fantasy, this is one of the like long time standing authors that write high fantasy that um, is often really good. Um, War has come to Fierich Spear. Uh, again, weird names that they make for these things. I'm sure there are proper uh, pronunciations for things, but I'm not going to try it again. <laughs> okay, next one is The Warsaw Protocol by Steve Barry. Now, this author, I know he does like political thrillers, kind of like um, Tom Clancy or, or like Cl Clive Kessler in that vein. Um, this looks like it's set in the 80s, and Warsaw tells me some uh, in Poland. Um, so, former Justice Department agent Cotton Malone learns of a private auction for incriminating information about Poland's president. The price of admittance is one of the precious relics of the Arma Christi, the weapons of Christ. Malone steals the Holy Lance, a thousand-year-old spear sacred to both Christians and the Polish people, and then attends the auction. But things go awry when Malone is thrust into a battle between three nations over information that could change the balance of power in Europe. From Bruges to... Uh, I'm going to mispronounce these names. I apologize in advance. To uh, Wawel... Va or, no, it's uh, Vavel castle because uh, w's are v sounds and v sounds v's are w sounds in polish um to an ancient polish salt mine malone is caught up in a deadly war the outcome which turns on a secret known as the warsaw protocol so it looks very very thrilling very um espionage-esque um, we do have this in, so this is the large print version we have the regular print version as well so you can request either one um so that sounds fun. And then this one is called Chasing Cassandra by Lisa, I apologize in advance for her last name, Claypass. Claypass. Um, I imagine my last name is often hard for people too, so I don't feel too bad about mispronouncing other people's names. <laughs> okay, um, so this is, so um, it says, Everything has a price. R Railway magnate Tom Severin is wealthy and powerful enough to satisfy any des desire as soon as it arises. Anything or anyone is his for the asking. It should be simple to find a the perfect wife. And from the first glance, the lady Cassandra Re Revenel, he he's determined to have her. But the beautiful and quick-witted Cassandra is equally determined to marry for love. The one thing he can't give. Um, so it looks like uh, like a romance, uh, kind of like, I don't know, from the picture on the front, it almost looks like a Cinderella thing. But who knows? Uh, that sounds interesting. It's actually book six in the Ravenels series. Um, so um, if you're, I know this author is pretty popular amongst our patrons. So check that one out. And then the last item I will bring to you, because I know this is, probably getting a little long is uh so we have the entire series uh the witcher series now we bought this because um netflix came out with a uh, with a tv series for it and people really liked that and made them and that made people interested in the book so we have all of the books this one baptism of fire is actually book three but yeah we, i think there's like five or six books in this series so check that out if you liked the witcher tv series the book is always better than the movie or the tv show just saying so um hope you enjoyed this and i hope i brought some recommendations that you would like and i will see you next week bye